the tracks, a train car filled with hazardous chemicals in the Inland Empire is leaking and could explode. Homes and businesses in Paris have been evacuated all day, and it could be days before people can return. Let's take a look at the evacuation zone and the streets bordering it. CBS News' Jeff Nguyen is live in Paris tonight with the very latest. Jeff? Jeff, simply put, a rail car with hazardous material has been overheating. Add to that, the weather here is very hot. To give you a sampling of what is going on, the 215 is closed in both directions, and this is the impact more than a mile and a half from that gas leak. 83-year-old Rosemary George, her dog and son and daughter, were told to go to this Red Cross shelter at Pinaconte Middle School. We're in the explosive zone. That's how close I am to it. About 170 homes have been evacuated because of a hazardous chemical spill from a rail car in Paris. Smoke was first spotted Thursday evening. There was an odor. The fear is this tanker could explode. A drone with infrared equipment captured this image, showing it in red heating up compared to the surrounding cars. So the tank car itself is a insulated tank car. So putting water on the tank car is going to be uh, uh, not worth it. Adding to the problem, triple digit temperatures. Concerns over a potential blast led authorities to go door to door to get people out early Friday morning. Officials say the rail car carries styrene, a chemical used to make rubber and latex products. It's believed the tanker is going through a chemical reaction called polymerization. In that chemical reaction, what uh, happens is uh, heat buildup is uh, basically going on inside the car. The contents of that product are basically boiling inside a closed container. So because it's uh, boiling, it's building up pressure. Because of that, evacuees have been warned it may take several days for the car to cool down. I grabbed my medication, I grabbed my phone charger, I jumped in my vehicle and I took off. And officials say that the temperature of that tanker has been moving in the right direction. They are waiting for it to drop to 150 degrees before they decide what to do next. For now, the cause of that leak is under investigation. We are live in Paris. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News. Jeff, thank you.